So we've already got the, the main module here powered up. Inside this is our microprocessor that is controlling the logic and the function behind this. This thing has got all kinds of fail safes and protection circuitry built into it. The output is coming to our board here just for display. It's solid state on the output though, so we're capable of sourcing quite a bit of power if we needed it. The white indicator is what would feed back to the PCM. This provides a 1.5 second grounded output pulse that will allow the PCM to enter tow haul mode. The blue LED here is what would simulate a dash light indicator of some sort or any light you would choose to illuminate. Uh, this output circuit is capable of sourcing up to 10 amps, so you're not going to find a light bulb bigger than what this thing can handle. Again, this is solid state and digital. The circuits are completely isolated, so even if there were a failure in the microprocessor, the outputs are completely separated. If you were to short the output, it's not going to hurt the microprocessor. This thing is pretty much foolproof. This is a prototype. The final version will have a fused output. So we want to go ahead and switch modes on the transmission. Pretty simple. We just go ahead and hit the button. There's our output. There's our dash light. So it's going to go ahead and stay on and let us know that we're in the alternative transmission mode. We want to go ahead and turn it off. Hit the button again. There's our output to the PCM and it shuts back off. Now we've got some stuff built in here to keep this from accidentally activating. You want to push the button, push it and hold it as long as you want. It's never going to come on. You let up, we're going to take and activate it. Now let's say that you are, you want to take and turn it off, but you hit the button too quick. Nothing happens. So it also prevents you from accidentally toggling the button. So let's go ahead and turn it back off. Now, same thing. If you accidentally bump the button, nothing's going to happen. So let's say you accidentally do turn it on and you realize you didn't want it. You turn it on. You immediately go to turn it back off. It won't turn back off because we have time delay built into this. You need to wait, be in mode for 3.5 seconds before you can turn it back off. Same thing to turn it back on. Three and a half seconds. And we go back on. It's pretty simple.